Hello and welcome to Pattern Recognition in Python. My name is Solomon Kimunyu. I will be your instructor for this course. Let's look at what we are going to learn in this course. We will begin by introduction and in this section we will learn what is pattern recognition and its application. Then we will move on to data visualization and in this section we will learn how to visualize data. Then we'll move to the third section, clustering, and we'll learn how to use k-means clustering to cluster and to identify patterns in data. Then we'll move to data preprocessing, and in this section we will learn how to clean and normalize data. Then we'll move on to the fifth section of feature engineering, and in this section we will learn how to create new features in the data and how to select the best features for model. Then we learn model building, and in this section, we learn how to train machine learning models and how to tune their hyperparameters. Then we'll move on to the last section and we will learn model evaluation. And in this section, we will be dealing with different types of validation schemes and how you can use evaluation metrics to measure the performance of a machine learning model. Let's look at the prerequisites for this course. We need some basic Python programming knowledge. You also need to know how to use pandas, numpy, Seaborn, and scikit-learn. These are Python libraries that are open source and are good for pattern recognition and data science. Then you also need to know how to use Jupyter Notebook or Google Colab. But if you don't know how to use any of those, then you're also in the best course because we'll be demonstrating how to use Python, how to use Pandas, NumPy, Seaborn, Scikit-Learn, and how to use Jupyter Notebook or Google Colab. Don't worry if you don't have experience in that. Let's look at the objectives for this course. By the end of this course, you should be able to describe what is pattern recognition. You should be able to describe the applications of pattern recognition. You should also be able to explain various feature engineering techniques in machine learning. You should also be able to explain the various ways of preprocessing data. And finally, you should be able to describe various ways of evaluating the performance of a machine learning model. Here we go 